This is Bill YouTube, this is Quinny W20, aka Quinn Wade. Coming to y'all with that quick NBA. I just wanted to do this update list because I did a top 15 list and the season just started. We a month in, and I just want to, well, almost to a month in, and I just want to do a quick update. First, still LeBron. KD is second. Third, Chris Paul. Kobe Bryant, he went, I mean, James Harden went up. <clears throat> I looked at the ESPN list, and I said this, I think, on mine, is that James Harden is really becoming a complete, his defense still ain't like, all the way there, but he really, there's not too many players that's really better than him that hasn't been injured, like Kevin Love, Kobe Bryant, uh, Derrick Rose, all been had horrible injuries because Kevin Love broke his hand, and Derrick Rose towards ACL, Rondo been injured, Dirk been injured. They still rehabbing, so they spots are taken. Because they're not playing at the level they used to be playing at. And besides, some of them older, like Dirk and them, they might not come back to them MVP title over kind of season. They might just have 20 plus, 21, 22 point season. Kobe, you never know because he got that drive and that work ethic. But James Harden really elevated up as the season going on now and as the season was last year when he averaged 25 and carried that Rockets team to a playoff seed in that in the West, even if even if it was the AFC, there's a lot of teams that couldn't even do that. With James Harden, really didn't have nobody. Now you got D12 down there, one of my favorite players. Fifth, I got Kobe still. I know on ESPN list, Kobe's still a top five player uh, in the NBA when he come back. You all see that Kobe, ain't, he, he is still be playing at a high level. Uh, but if he don't, I got players on this list i tell you all that will come up. Kobe, I suspect when he come back, he'll be playing in that 22, 23, 24, 25 point range. Because he ain't going to come back until he know he can play. And that's Kobe Bryant drive. You know that. Six, I got Kevin Love. Maybe a little high for some people, but he's been playing outstanding this season. But then again, that's what Kevin Love do the last couple seasons. Kevin Love, I think the highest ESPN had him was seven, which was two years ago. I got him six this year. I got him above his teammate at UCLA, Russell Westbrook. Westbrook ceiling probably higher, but Kevin Love has. The, you all got to put into context that Kevin Love plays for a team where there is no other superstars. Matter of fact, the second best player in the NBA. And on top of that, he's carrying the team low, whole low. Now that Kevin Martin is there, he got a lot more talent there. Kevin Love still the number one option. West Westbrook is the second option on a top tier team, which is still good. So I'm not taking no credit for Westbrook. But you got to put it in context that Kevin Love is scoring all these points on a team that doesn't have another superstar. With that being said, seven, we got Westbrook. His defense is, just, is, is very, very good. Excellent defense. Offensively, he got to get good shots. He, take, he still got bad shot selection. I thought it would have been gone by now. But Westbrook still got horrible shot selection. 43% last year. He just got to get good consistency in that jump shot and that shot selection. got to go up. Eighth, I got Dwight Howard. Of course, I would have him higher if I was biased, but this list, I really I really had to fight on this list because it, it the NBA is getting so tight that even like Kevin Love is debatable at six. Because you can put West, some people can put West, but some people can just take Kobe completely out because he's injured. But I got Dwight Howard at eight. I will put him up higher if this was my personal list, but since it's not, I got to put Dwight Howard at eight. Ninth, I got Paul George. He won, He's the player that I suspect. And if Kobe doesn't come back healthy by, let's say, February, and he's not putting up the numbers he usually put up, Paul George can easily climb up from fifth, I mean, ninth quickly to fifth. I keep updating my list casual. I mean, regularly. I'm about to say casually, but I'm trying to update it more frequently in videos. So Paul George is the player I think will pass Kevin Love. Because he already got the, the defense already outstanding. The offense is coming. But this season, he averaged 25, so the offense is there. Completely, but we got to see over the course can he consistently score that game that at that consistent game? So it'd be hard for him to do because he did that last year. Came out the gate shooting good, but it slowed down. But eight games in, he been twenty having twenty five. So and then tenth, I got Carmelo. In context, you got to put in the fact that this guy is playing on a team where he's the only superstar, which you have to factor that in. People don't factor that in when they judge these players. They make it seem like. A superstar just carry a team. Carmelo had a team that was a 50-win season, came out the second round. They got lost 4-2 to the Pacers, but that's a 50-win team. I think they was 
top four in the conference last year, and Carmelo was the primary scorer and option. And actually, he led the league in scoring. So Carmelo Anthony this season, his, his, his Knicks team haven't, haven't been playing as well because they lost Chandler, and they still got to recover. They still got Amari playing as the old Amari, which he pretty much not. I lost hope in it, but it is what it is. You got to move on. Carmelo, he a free agent. He can just get out of there. But Carmelo 10th. Our more mission is Stephen Curry, D Wade. I probably would. I probably Curry probably the more higher one that could be in this top ten list. I see ESPN put theirs in there, but his defense is just too shoddy. D Wade, the one that I it's probably mother over far fetch. I can I probably put Kobe over D Wade. Uh, Marcus Saul, I put him over D Wade. Blake Griffin, probably him over D Wade and Anthony Davis. All these players are playing. At a higher level, I even do mentions like uh, Lamarcus Aldridge is playing another. He probably be that probably be my like my 17, 18, 19, and then the rest I probably couldn't even tell you. This is so close in the NBA now. Like LeBron James and KD are like locks. Chris Paul is locked at three, but other than that, James Harden is like fourth, fifth is Kobe, sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth and tenth is so close. Like Dwight Howard can easily sleep slip out of the top ten if he. But his rebounding and defense. I don't even want to talk about basketball no more because you got to factor too much stuff in to make these top 10 lists. So I'm going to stick with my list. I'm going to copy and paste it from my list into the description so you don't have to read this the whole video. You can see the list. Comment, like, and subscribe and share. Quinn DW20 signing out. Peace.